Hello everyone, let me just find the video. Do, 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 do. Nope. Mm -hmm. Hopefully my scribe's finding the video as well and not just sitting on his phone. Really? Never would have guessed. All right. Hello everyone. So tonight we're gonna do something with a plate and some new rice papers. Oh, hello, Raquel and Leanne. Um, so tonight, uh, just a reminder that our classes are on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, so if one of you, on whichever platform you originally started working, uh, watching on, if it's uh, stops, like, you know, is a bit okay. jaggy or glitchy. blurry or glitchy, you can always hop on to the other one and yeah. It'll be all good. Uh, so now, okay. on Facebook, it's in the group. They're in the What's New section. No, no, they're on the front page of the online store. Um. Yeah, no, go to the front page of the online on the store. Yeah, they are. Click on there. Well, scroll no. down. Oh, oh, you hit me. Oh, dearie me. Right. Oh, you need to get your glasses out, dude. No. Yeah. Sorry, people. We're just having a bit of a conflab over that. Hello, Tash. Um, I love how Noah shared this link into the group chat. Yeah. Okay, cool. Anyway, so here we are. You can see a bit of my shorts. Oh, dear. You do not want to see my shorts currently. There we go. Fix up the camera there. Um, I take my frame down every week, so it's always a bit of a guesstimate. I should mark where my frame goes on my ass uh, desk, but I never do. Anyway, so tonight we're going to be using some rice papers. So we've got these and the, the all new. Mummy designed them specifically for tonight's class, so I better use all three, or else I'm going to be in some serious trouble. So, um, yeah. So we've got the lace strips with some pearls and some bull butterflies. It's called Diamonds and Lace, that one. Oh, Diamonds and Lace. And then we've got some script writing, which is called... Blue script. Blue yeah, script. And I think they're meant to be called Deborah. Deborah butterflies, but I think I've named them wrong in the other one. Too. And these yeah, are the... Denim butterflies. So yeah, that's the butterflies. Hello, Deborah. Oh, thank you. Um, oh, hello, Lian. And yeah, so we've got, yeah, mummy is a good one. Yes, yes. She designed a whole bunch of stuff for us to use tonight. So we better use it or else, like I said, we're in a little bit of trouble. Uh, so, but I don't need two of each. So I'm just going to like remove the ones I don't need. And then I think we're going to get started. I've also been given a plate from the kitchen tonight because it's chipped. We were going to chuck it out. But it's going to have a new life in my art sec, in my art thing, oh, yeah. art area. We might make, use it to make a circle. Like, you know, it's like the perfect size for our picture, I reckon. Smack bang in the middle. We won't stick it there. We'll use it as a tracer. Right. Here we go, folks. So, what I'm thinking, what are you thinking? is that... Why do I always get left with Nora as a scribe? A and B. Let's get started. So, my desk is a little bit messy, but I'm sure I cleaned it up before I started. Anywho, let's get started. So, we're just going to come in and we're going to tear some of our scripty paper up. Pam says be the beautiful Diane B says hi Nami John and everyone. Well, hello Diane B and thank you Pam. Pam yeah, mum. Mum's pretty good. I think that's the understatement Nami. <coughs> like yeah. Probably is eh. You want the family? Yeah, it's a bit hot today, isn't it? Sandra B said hello. Hello, Sandra. Right, here we go. 
Um, also, if your videos are blurry now, could everyone just tell me, just so then we make sure that, like, it's all good for everyone. Uh, two weeks back, we had a few issues. Uh, but, yeah, so um, just as a little bit of a reminder, last week we did this. Um, unfortunately, between last week and the week before, we left a page. So we're coming back, and we're doing the page that we accidentally skipped. So um, we're coming back in here. And this is our new little section here. So we're just going to come in. And like always, we kind of need to prime our pages because it's notebook paper. Never said clear. Excellent. Because my iPad is glitching like you would not believe. Oh, hello, Di. No, I think it's got a lot of Probably does. You know. We have this streaming on multiple devices on our home Wi-Fi. We don't live in the best place known for internet. I don't think it's known for much. Mm, no, actually it isn't. Right, there we go. So now we're just gonna come in with our palette knife and we're gonna scrape out our gesso a bit. Now we have to work relatively fast because we're kind of having the type of weather today that dries paint super quick. That's good for some projects, but not for today. Pardon? That's good for some projects. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We can do lots of uh, like uh, really te techniques that get the page like super wet we can do because they'll dry quick enough for us to go and do another layer. However, techniques that we need to stay wet over a long period of time to do things, probably not. So there we go. So we've just gone in and we've scraped it in and it actually highlights that texture a bit more and it means that our rice paper is going to have um, a bit more of a thicker surface to cling to as well because we're going to use our gesso as glue. So we're just going to come in and stick these down this and by tearing these bits up got a few more options yep. so it's kind of like making a serendipity background where you just use all your little bits of scraps and everything any recommendations for our viewers that are like in colder climates? Um, you might need to go and have a coffee after this. Or a snack break to let it dry. Watch a quick episode. Cause, yeah, because the priming layer is always best in an artwork if you leave that layer to air dry. I know it's painful. Not many people are having colder weather right now, Noah. I know, but Down south is watching this. Oh, good point, good point, good point. Facebook is worldwide. So is YouTube. Dear me. There's a frog somewhere. There's a frog out there. And he croaks every night. When I want to go to sleep. At least you don't have Missy. No, but I shut my door. Well, see, I can't. I feel sorry for Missy because she bangs her head See, this is the this is the difference between you and me. You feel sorry for a cat. I feel sorry for a cat. I cannot brain have, damage. I don't have feelings for a cat. Missy has brain damage. I feel sorry for her. The most I ever have felt for Missy is pity. <laughs> and I know that sounds bad, but I'm allergic to cats and dogs and Pretty much every animal in the world. So, yeah, my weigh-in on animals isn't that high, to tell you the truth. It's very much like, oh, hello, Diane G. Oh, hello, Raquel. Oh, it's cold where Raquel is. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, no, we're back to um, sweating, which is good, because I thought we were getting a ripped-off winter, like a, win uh, like a, a, a summer rip-off. And going straight to winter again, which is not okay, because we had winter for an extra month. I 
think we had it for a couple more weeks, maybe, but it was very cold here. It was an extra month. I recorded it. Yes. Then, let's let's be reminded here, you're not the average Queenslander. On the day when it went really hot, you still had the um what's it called? The fan in the back of the car on thirty two. It was still so cold in the morning. Mate, I don't think you understand this. I Pneumonia is nowhere on my bucket list, so I'm gonna make sure I never catch it. No, you're gonna catch heat stroke. Well, mate, you can recover from heat stroke a lot quicker than pneumonia. Right, so now we've got that layer dry. Um, Pam says, thank goodness it's been cooler here. We had no power for the day fixing something. Oh, goodness. Um, Deborah H says, oh, my comment's loading. Well, we had six months of grey wet weather. Now you can keep that all to yourself. We will not be doing that. Right, so then we're going to come in and I think we're going to add another layer of uh, ripped bits and pieces, but it's going to be tissue paper. And maybe some... Um, what's it called? Flowers. Now we could fussy cut these. However, hear me out. I don't want to fussy cut tonight. Do you not? So I reckon we could just tear and make a pattern. I won't tear the whole thing. I'll keep the side with most of the flowers on. be like a clear transparent pattern it'll look really cool i'm just remembering now that vellum curls but that's okay i'll add to it it'll look pretty 16 degrees lower today than yesterday in sydney wow that's a significant difference it depends where they started it was like 45 degrees, so when you take 16 off, that's only what? 29? What did you say, 45? Take 16, yeah, it's, it's 29, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's still pretty nice. I mean, if it was 20 degrees, that would be take. Six, that's 4 degrees. That cannot happen in summer. Well, I hope not. Right, now we're going to come in and we're going to do a layer of gel medium. So this page is realistically going to get a double, um, what's it called? A double, yeah, a double whammy of priming. And I don't think that was enough gel, uh, enough matte medium, but we'll be fine. We come in, stick these pieces down, and by doing this, it means that there's going to be more detail in the background. Let's work for us to do on the front, more and like more inspiration to go off of, you know. More patterns to draw from, all of that. See. I think it looks really good that we've um, tore the vellum and not just um, fussy cut it. Adds character, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I reckon. What do you think, Noah? Probably not. You haven't looked at it, have you? I'm looking at it right now, Mammy. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I'm not that condescending. Right. Well, still processing 2020. 
Look, I realized today that I'm turning 23 this year, and I still can't remember my 21 year. I'm like, I'm going to admit to you right now, I was ready to turn 20 when I turned 20. I will fully admit to that. I was not ready to turn 21 when I turned 21. Now, Mandy was born in the year 2000, so it's very easy to remember her birthday. Yeah, it's very easy to remember my age. It's the actually the only reason why my older brother remembers my age. He doesn't remember Noah's. So when he texts him for his birthday, it's often me um, texting Milton at 6 a.m. going, it's Noah's da 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 birthday. Send him a message. Sorry if you didn't know that. I, I completely knew that. He's messed up. Well, one year I did forget to text Milton about it. And, um, yeah. Is only four digits off. Well, you know, he did get there by 9 p.m. as well, so he made it on the day. Which is the important thing. I don't remember his birthday. It's the last day of November. <laughs> And he's turning 26 this year? One of our cousins is having a Yes, well, okay, so that there is, I think, all the background collage layer I believe we're going to probably do. I could do more, but the black's really um, dark, which is good because it's giving us some contrast to work with already. Um, and I, I like the roses as the, as like the bare minimum we've done there kind of thing. I think it just gives it that pop it needed with the script because the script looked a little bit, um, too open, I guess. Like it was kind of hard to see where you had the script, whereas now you've got other pieces in there with it. You can clearly see where we've done the collage and all the rest of it. So I reckon we're ready for the next layer. And I want to completely dry this because we are going to do a few wet techniques. Um, and just to be on the safe side because our paper is really thin and we are priming every page to make it thick enough to do art on. So I'm just coming up and I'm lifting it up to heat it. Right, there we go. Now, the plate that I've been gifted today has a um, chip in it, so it's all good if we get paint on it. I even have mum recorded saying it, so no way I'm getting in trouble for this one. Um, to be fair, it probably wouldn't have stopped me if I said, if she said I did, I couldn't get paint on it anyway. So. Anyway, here we go. So we're just going to come around and we're going to trace our plate like usual. This lovely plate was one that uh, Trish gifted me when I moved out, and I because I lived with them for a year. It was quite, it's quite nice. It was really good to have um, a bit more of a steady footing in my first year. I don't think I would have probably made it through the first month if I wasn't living with someone in my first year. Um, it was kind of like the extra support I just needed, because up until that moment. Uh, like, obviously you guys know that my family's super close, so basically you never have a moment's privacy in this house. Uh, so, you know. There was privacy before Amelia was born. No, there wasn't. That was you. Uh, I will not be retracting that soon. Right, so now what we're going to come and do is we're going to add some of our blue. Kind of like we're drawing it with a paint pen, 
don't need too much that's probably a little bit too heavy right there we go and then what we're going to come and do is we're just going to lift up our notebook or our art journal and I did not realize my spritzer was running out of water I will fully admit to that one we want to make sure it's dripping not in the circle that we just drew and we're going to come around and do the whole entire edge of our circle oh i just got some of the other rice papers that i have on my desk whoops a daisy and then what we're going to come and do is we're just gonna get that one I reckon this is like a really devoted denim blue. It's the Smurf from Art by Marlene's um, paint range. I don't know which pack it came from though. I do need to stick the lid on that before I forget. And we're just going to pick up some of that and we're going to actually rub it inside a little bit but just in this corner here so you can kind of see where the circle breaks a little bit And then what we're actually going to come and do is we're just going to grab some tissue and remove some of the blue from this side. We just want like a light bit of blue there. We don't want it to be like a complete um, cut line like we have here. We want it to kind of finish the, uh, the real definite line of the circle just once it comes into this piece of tissue here okay and then our know, backing piece is really wet but that's okay So I think that looks really nice. Yes, yes, it does. Okay, and then what we're going to come and do next is we're going to grab our oil pastel. And we're just not going to draw on the wet tissue, the wet rice paper. We're going to come in. Just do a bit. Yeah, bit there, and this is just to get a bit of a different color in and get that contrast going quite naturally. Um, and it's we also I'm using the oil pastel because it doesn't um, move with water, so that means that no matter what layer I do next, that's always going to be there, which is going, which is really nice. Kind of guarantees me that the work I'm like the layers I'm putting in now. Will give us a bit of a um, definition, I guess, at the end. Right, and now what I'm going to come and do, I think, is well, I do like that circle. Looks really nice, I think. And then I believe what we need. What we need, what we need, is this one here stamped in maybe a pink or black or maybe, I've got a few things here that we could put on. So we could do sweet or actually. Oh, 
Oh, I know what we can do. Right. So we're just going to come in with our pink ink pad. I am using the one I got out of the advent calendar just because it is super inky on my script stamp. I'm just doing that in three spots like we usually do because of composition. Sorry if I speak like um, um, in the middle of doing like a training course for people or something like I spent the whole day at my other workplace, well my whole shift at the other workplace, um, training a girl on how to use some of our, prog uh, how to use some of the embroidery programs. Um, so lecture mode uh, yeah I'm in a bit of a lecture mode so I'm real sorry if it seems like oh hello Cheryl oh hello Heather oh I haven't answered a few things oh hello Jacqueline oh uh, I, I realized I was speaking kind of like a train of voice after today <laughs> where I was I spent the whole day training that girl at my workplace which was was interesting where did you get... oh you grabbed some paper did you? oh you had that bell yeah, I had that, that one. How do you um, use these? It's going, it's getting there. It's going to be the second. Mm. Well, you're not even oh, going for hard now. Are you guys going to go and read? Yeah. Cool. Right, That's so what I'm going to do. One the series. Ooh. Maybe you should read another book series other than that one. No. No, she's never giving. She has a perfect book. I'm just like. I thought she was rereading them all. I don't think you should burn the swans bubble on that one. Um, no, I'm not going to burst swans bubble without really as a reading at it. Mm. Lo and behold. Have you guys seen Mother's Glasses? I believe they would be in her handbag or on her desk. They're on I'm her desk. I'm looking on her desk. Dun, 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 dun. I don't think you're looking very well, though. Oh, off you go. Or I'll actually make sure that Noah puts you on bed on time. I am um <laughs> <laughs> I can see into the future. So okay, so we're just coming in and we're doing some Millie just put on mum's glasses. That's why she was going, I am mum. Hello Sandy. It's okay. just after yours, Mary. Oh, what a shame. Dad's computer's just old and slow. I could respond with a really good comeback to that. But... What, it's just like a signer? Yeah. Suppose. Anyway, he's probably like gonna open this up and watch it. Yeah, that's why I wasn't gonna say it, but you said it first, so that's okay. Expecting me to say it. Excellent. You know you're supposed to be the nicer one out of us too, right? I am nice. I feel people's emotions in me. I'm <laughs> <seen>. <laughs> I'll fully admit that I have problems with empathy, but I'm working on it. At a very slow pace. see me in 30 years and I'll understand it okay right here we go so we've got that there now I just realized that I did the green dots because it looked really nice there uh, where I've put them just here but I realized that's where I kind of wanted to put my lace border so now we definitely have to use these because mum designed them specifically for the class so if I don't use them boy am I in trouble You'll be going to work in a hearse in the back of it. In the back of a hearse. I don't think mum and dad will splurge for a hearse for me. I'm not going to lie. I wonder if it's Yeah. Maybe the Kimby Mobile. The Kimby Mobile. 
Because it's currently got the smell of 30 different takeaways. Oh, I know, right? I had to drive it to um the pool this after. How was that? Oh, it stunk, mate. You try being in the car when there's McDonald's, KFC, and all these other things. If you're wondering why it smells like 30 different takeaways. Dad uh, started door dashing. He was... He he got intrigued by a friend. Um, you see, the good thing about us doing door dashing is, is we can't eat food. Yes, so some of Dad's friends from his other workplaces that he worked with um, has said that they were earning more as door dashers than teachers and fitters. Dad did not know if this was true or not, so he's testing it. Dad has long behold decided to test the theory. We found out our neighbour like Subway. Yeah. You know, finding out something new about people that you've been in town with forever doesn't happen too often. Clarkson is a small town, Mary. Mm -hmm. When I go shopping with Grandma every Saturday, I think I see the same people. Every Saturday. That's probably because Saturday is their grocery shopping day and you go to the same grocery store every Saturday. Yeah. At the same time. Yeah. They would shred you and put you on the garden. Probably. I hear that human remains are great for um things. Apparently there's a study on it. I don't know. Actually, really it's really cool. I think in WA they are, um, you can request that after you leave this world that you can become, um, that you can uh, be put in a reserve and your ashes help grow um, some native trees that are going extinct. So, like, you help bring back a species. I think that's pretty cool. What do you want to be? Be a fruit tree. I don't know if you've. I I don't know if you've got like the like if you can be that specific with this mob, but okay, yeah. A fruit right. tree, and then I want like a little sign that says "Don't eat my fruit," but when they eat it, it'll have down the bottom remains of a person. So they're technically eating it. Oh, that's just no. Okay, and quick question: Do you have a specific fruit? And if you say lychees, I'm not going to do lychees. That's just pure evil. Like, you, know, an apple, something. you know, if you do an apple tree, technically, I think you'd have to grow in Victoria to survive. That, that's true. Take my tree to die after a couple months. Exactly. You want to be like something that, you know, lives for a long time. In the search of the longest living tree species. You might want to put fruit at the end of it if you specifically want to be a fruit tree at the, the end. Fruit tree. Pear tree. Exactly. What is pear? You know. But I'm so sorry. You've got Nora and I as a team tonight. Our conversations can be really on point or extremely off point. So we're just coming in. 400 years some pear trees can live for. So you're going to be a pear tree. Actually, let's do the longest living tree. Maybe not a fruit tree. That's just a bit weird. Living tree species. Wouldn't it be like a fig? No, because remember, figs kind of die. No, well, it depends which fig tree you have. I can't pronounce this, but the bristle cone pine reach the age of 5,000 years old. Well. But they grow in cold climates, so, you know. Are you willing to make that sacrifice? We might have to post you over to Europe for that. Then you have to fly over to see my tree. Uh, Pam, uh, Deborah's suggesting a mango if you want a long fruit tree. And then you won't have to be posted overseas. Yeah, true. Plus, then we can feed um, our mango addiction. So. Yes, well, yeah. Because we all love frozen mango. I, I like non frozen mango. I will admit to that. I don't eat frozen mango. I've had a few moments where I'm like, mm, no. 
you don't like frozen mango? No, I do not like frozen mango. I've had experiences with Milton that have left yeah. severe. You two binge eating frozen mango. Look, we used to do a lot of things before you were born. And even after you were born, we just excluded you because you were a baby. Yes, as you do, Nanny John. Look, it's nothing personal. I'm not taking it personal. I feel like you are. I'm not. Because <laughs> now I need to. I would have been the test dummy. Well, you should be thankful that you weren't here when Milton was younger because I was the test dummy. Yes, Nanny, I know. You hit him with a cracker bird. Well, you know, and... um. He had that coming. He ate. Oh no! He tore one of my Barbie dolls' heads off. And you hit him with a crib. <laughs> his head did not depart his body. <laughs> that was the most violent act any of us kids have ever done. I think. Oh, uh, Diane G suggesting a nut tree. Well, if you still a macadamia need... tree, maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe a macadamia tree. Although, the one at Great Grandma's, did you hear that it just split open? Maybe it gave up. You know? I don't know if this looks okay. I think we need some paint coming out of the envelope eventually. I mean, whatever the bikes are though. I will admit, I do like this kind of layout type thing. It looks quite nice, I think. What are we all thinking? Let's get just, let's pull it back to class for a minute. Away uh, from trees. Away from being buried in the tree. Because, you know, some people might classify that as a bit of a morbid subject. Oh, it's like the conversations me and Milton had um, at Christmas. Christmas, yes, we went to a Christmas Eve church service. Yeah. Now, hear us out. It was long, it was hot. Every year it is advertised as 30 minutes. Well, no, isn't it 40? It's as a 40 minute. Last year. Um, like last year it was 35 minutes. Oh, that's right. Nativity play Christmas ceremony. Abstract at the river. Oh, do like it. Do like it. I like the name Raquel. I don't normally name my pages, but we might put that in like the corner. Um, and then you might have to have in fine writing. Suggested uh, by. Name. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. And plate by Trish. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we can we can reference everything. So anyway, back to the church thing. We're just going to come in and use gesso as our um, glue, just because I have run out of gel medium. Forgot to buy some again. This is the eighth week in a row of this happening. Please do not judge. Um, I will be buying some tomorrow. I said that last week, but I will tomorrow. I've got a reminder in my phone this time. Shades of blue. Oh, do like, do like. So yes, back to the church service. Um, so it it's always advertised as that, and it always is that. So we go because it's a nice, quick church service. And when Grandma still had most of her mobility, she would go because it was um, just long enough for her to watch the full thing and appreciate it, but not too long that. Um, she would um, get overly tired and wouldn't be able to participate in any of the in like the singing or go out for communion and all the rest of it. Um, so yeah. However, this year, luckily Grandma did not come because it was inside the church. Normally, it's out on the school Very hot. thing because like there's too many people that come to it to fit all in the church. It was very hot because the church does not have aircon. Uh, yeah, it's to keep all the kids awake during school when they go to school masses. I found that out, by the way. Because um, I questioned the teacher a lot in grade six about it. Um, 
yeah, well, they made us get to a church service every week. Like, don't get me wrong, I was all for the songs, but... The heat. The heat, mate. Especially in summer. And we had a really bad spring that year as well. Anyway, so um, it was not. It was an hour and 35 minutes this year. Yeah. We were going to leave, but... And it was a very traditional mass. And they had the offertory bowl twice, didn't they? Yeah, so they... Although a lot of people, because there was a song, remember that long song, and a lot of people kind of just ran. No, what happened was, so when communion came, which is like halfway through the service, uh, well, halfway through this service, surprisingly, um, what happened is that people went up and they got, like, communion, and then they didn't actually go back to their seats. They just kept on walking to the end of the church and left. Well, the nativity only went for about four minutes. Yep. So, you know. Anyway, and Mum wouldn't have allowed me to talk gossip with her because we were surrounded by people. But Milton and Noah, at the other end of the pew, what were you discussing? <laughs> Probably stuff that wasn't appropriate in church. Can you write it down? <laughs> Definitely not appropriate in church. Anyway. That's asking questions by the people behind us. <laughs> yeah, so he, yeah, and that, that is industrial deafness. So he wasn't hearing Nora and Milton like snigger in the background. My mum and, and I was just looking at them like completely jealous that I was at the end with Amelia and then mum and then dad and then those two at the other end. So next year, well, well hello, Karen Milton and was Debbie. Honest. Milton was being quite disrespectful. He had his phone and he was using it. No, next year, if we do go to the service, I'm dibbizzing a spot next to Nora and Milton. Although we don't normally get to sit next to each other at Christmas either because... Um, we, well, Milton and I don't, because we, we are known as the vicious twins sometimes, um, when we agree on things, and yes, we got to sit next to each other this Christmas, I don't think we're going to be allowed to next one, so not a problem, but, you know, we had a small Christmas Yeah, it's called Mass. We just call it church, though, because, you know, we're, we're great Christians, aren't we? <laughs> Christian Mary. Not Christians. We were baptised in the Anglican faith. That is a and Christian go, faith. And we go to a Catholic church every Christmas as our act of religion. Yeah. It's all good. No, we go once during the year as well. We go Wait. once, yeah, in a random spot. Like this year, it was um, it was April. Mm. Remember? Oh, that's right. So we go, we go at Christmas time, and then so we're not just those people. We go once at a random point in the year. So you know, like it kind of evens it out, just a little bit. Right. So now we've got that there. What we're going to come and do. Because we're going to grab our paint pen. What I'm actually going to come and do is I'm going to try and use it as a dripper as well. So I'm just going to come add some of the glue there. I want to see if it's any Sandra darker. Says, sounds like when I was growing up, we called it mass being Catholic and there was never air conditioning in the school churches or any churches. And most of them did not have fans, and there was always two collections. It also lasts an hour or more unless you got one of the new young priests. And sometimes it lasted 45 minutes. Then. Yeah, see, like... The current one we have is very traditional. Yes. The one before that was a good believer in that 45 minutes was enough. 
which was great. Yeah, we, um, be thankful we didn't pay grandma. Yeah, she definitely would not have, because she was considering going, because the year one before that, like we said, was 35 minutes, so 35 minutes grandma can last for, so she, we take a walker though. Yeah, we take a walker and all the rest of it. And, and she sits on her. And we make sure that we get her, like, a good, like, seat, not, like, on the bench or anything, um, and relatively in the middle row, just in case if we do have a... Yeah. If we do have a situation, we can easily leave or get um, help. But, yeah, so likely we didn't, though, because an hour and 40 or an hour and 35 minutes, it's just... It's a bit long for her. Probably at Easter. Yeah, I don't even think we went for the Easter one. We went. The Easter one it was. Long. It was a really random point. Like I remember, Milton and I came home for something. Yeah. It wasn't Easter. It was just after Easter. I don't but know. Now I remember it. And it was like this random point in time. No, it was. And, it was like just after Easter. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was just after Easter, and Mum's like, "We're going to church." So, you know, we, we do go at a random... Didn't Nelson try not to go? Yeah, and look how well that turned out for him. He still went. He didn't have a choice. So I'm just adding my dark blue paint pen to areas where I think it just needs a little bit more uh, difference between the blues. Just a little bit more detail as well. Think of it now, next year we have to go to all of Neil's band things. I'm well rehearsed and sitting through band stuff. What's the banana come to them? She can come all she likes. Amelia is doing clarinet this year. She's gonna be. The third clarinet player. In our family. I think Nana's trying to start a tradition that all females play clarinet in our family. Because Michelle's instrument, well, Auntie Michelle's instrument was uh, clarinet. Clarinet. Didn't great granddad play? Great granddad's sister played clarinet. Great granddad played piano. I don't think great grandma played an instrument. No, she came from a farming. Um, family. family. They, they, they didn't pay insurance. Um, yes, and I still would have played clarinet, but it's just, well, some of them haven't. No, but the oldest has always played clarinet. So, I think it's definitely a tradition now, because we're probably in, what, the fourth generation of it? Uh, well, close to it. Um, so, you know. Oh, that looks very nice now, I think, with all the little blue highlights. Look at that. I do say that we've done a bit of good work on that. Hey, now, what we need just, sorry for the banging. Maybe it doesn't have enough ink in it to do this technique. One minute. We'll see. Do you really want this technique to work? year was that Amelia was going to graduate? 2032. I will be 32, which makes you 26. 26. No, 
Yes, 26, because there's six years between us. And then Melton, we 35, or just on the eclipse of turning 35. Mum and Dad will be in their 50s. Mm. No, Mum will be over 50. Yeah, Mum's definitely going to be over 50. Wait, what age is she going to be? Oh, no, she'll be just in before... She'll be just before her 60s, I think. Yeah, because we have just under 10 years. So, yeah, she'll probably either 60 or the year before she turns 60. And just by adding this green, it kind of adds in that forest a little bit more. Right, now that we've got that, we can come in with some of our butterflies, I think. And, oh, I'm to take that one out. I think I can. What do you think? So, we've already got two of the rice papers on. We've got this one, and we've got the butterflies down here, and... A piece of that strip. I don't know if the pearls will exactly match anywhere. Like we could use them as mini sequins and then oh and then we could do like a gloss effect oval with glue. Okay, right here. Yes, I did. And I nearly cut my finger then too. Bit of a moment. I got excited and nearly cut my finger off. Ooh. No, no. Probably won't be the last either. So I don't think we need any more than that. And then our butterflies now this is where it comes down to the important decisions well i cut out the pearls do you guys want to think about what butterflies reckon i i think maybe i do like this one but it might get a little bit lost my reasoning is that it's not particularly that thick oh no also there is a new phone update anyone who has an iPhone. My friend tried doing it during my workouts today. Oh, because yours would have been charged. Yeah. It's one of those moments where you're like, no. I would have decaled if it went on charge. Oh. Uh, I probably would have been fired. For about two hours. Yeah, that's true. Hmm, re employed. You would have got a call from Gavin. I'm sure they'll have their ways. I'm sure they would have found my mum's phone number somewhere. She's my emergency contact, or my dad is on um, a job application. Yeah. yeah. They can see all your friends. Hmm. I've got nothing to hide. I'm going to look all I want. To tell you the truth, my private accounts aren't really that updated. No, no, no. Your private Instagram is very... I haven't posted for a very long time on it. Right, so which one are we thinking? Maybe... I do like the look of this one. He's a bit mothy, I understand. But we might just give it the pop we need. Or we could go for the baby ones. Let's do like a stream of baby. Or we could do like three coming down. I reckon. We could do one, two, and a tiny one there, maybe. Or one. Let's just make some decisions. I reckon let's go with this one. Hey Noah, can you get me mum's uh, Couture Creations new glue, please? 
not glossy accents. I think it's crystal something something something. Not color the bottle is. Uh, it's clear with a black lid. It's very small. Kind of short looking. I think it's called crystal accents. It'll be really close to where she works. See all the glue. Oh, it is. It's the tiniest little bottle ever. No, I told you it was a tiny bottle. It's not that tiny compared to some bottles. Maybe a family of three. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. A family of three. Like we have one there, one there. And then our little baby moth one over here. Whoosh. Two butterflies and a moth. Well, you know. Not everyone has to be a butterfly. It would be very boring if we were all the same. Some butterflies don't look as pretty as some moths. Yes, but moths are poisonous. Don't moths live longer than butterflies? I don't know. Why am I asking you? I've got Google. Exactly. Do I look like Dr. Google? Right, so we're just going to come in and stick down our, oh, goodness me, our rice paper circles. Hopefully without getting too much glue on our hands, which is realistically not going to plan. Who would have thunk that? Everyone. I'm a big fan of blonde hair misting, but not right now, please. Sorry. Okay, right, there we go. Now we're going to come in. And we're just going to do... Our dots of glue over the top. And then what we're going to do is, is we're just going to come and do some dots. Over here. Maybe just a bit here. Yeah. And you'll see what we're going to do in a second, but we're going to let that go tacky. So we're going to allow that glue to go tacky. Where did the lid go? There. And while we allow that glue to go tacky, what we're going to come do is we're just going to quickly cut out. How do I get these good scissors? These are not my scissors. Oh, those yellow ones? Yeah. Oh, Amelia stole them from you and I didn't return them. When? I think the day you got them. I said, I haven't had a pair of good fussy cutting scissors since the week I arrived home. I thought they had been commandeered. They were. Oh, God. Actually, I thought I just lost them in the move and accidentally left them at my old place. You kind of did lose them. I did. Well, it wasn't your fault. Right. Around the five foot slash four foot person who loves dragons. Thought they okay, now, before you go any further with your measurements, let's just get this straight. I'm five foot seven to eight. Amelia is definitely not a five foot person yet. She's close. Not even close. Four foot six. She'll hit five foot when she's in grade eight. And hopefully after that, because that means that I'll be taller than her for quite some time. She's grown a lot this year, Nancy. I her. know. Scary. She's going to be taller than me. <laughs> I will be the shortest in my family, apart from my mum. And great grandma. And great grandma, and grandma, and a few aunts. I'm currently the eighth shortest adult in the family. And I have gone down the list because a few relatives have died. Actually, yeah, because great grandma was like the shortest. Uh, no, no, no. She was the second shortest. Grandma's shorter than her. 
Both just, of them were up. Right Gram was like 94. They had shrunk. I don't have an excuse yet. Well, that's shrinking. He is shrinking. I find it hilarious. I find it funny how he stopped talking about it. Yeah, because he's hurt by it. <laughs> there we go. So we're just coming in and we're sticking our butterflies down with the gesso. So that not only because we don't have any gel medium left, but, well, any me matte medium left, but because it makes the rice paper become opaque and it means we get to see our whole print. Unfortunately, the rice paper doesn't really have enough body to it for us to make them like a flying type thing, unless we did a coat of the accent, of the crystal accents over top, let it dry completely and then use a butterfly um which we might do that uh just after class like just after doing this we might get that set up so the next week we can do something with our butterflies or maybe not i don't know next week we'll be on to something new next week's gig so goodness knows what we're creating with could be a whole new rain could be could be could be oh i just stuck my hand in the, the crystal accents now that we got that there, before we close the actual gesso tub up, we're just going to grab our small paintbrush. And what do we reckon? Love hearts, rectangles, stars, triangles, or dabbies. We could do butterflies or birds as well, but it's up to you guys. I'm sure you are taller than some of your scrapbook fantasies family. <laughs> Maybe Pam, but the customer is always correct. That's the same thing. Hearts, you reckon? Oh, yeah. Cool. We can do hearts. We do have some short customers. We also have a few tall customers. Hearts. Okay. We're in agreement then, hearts. And my hearts kind of look like birds, so we'll be fine. And everyone's happy. So just gonna come in and get a little bit of our gesso on our paintbrush. We want a good coverage. I'm just going to be careful because I've got crystal accents all throughout this area. What is your opinion on crystal accents after using it? Not too bad. The bottle is a bit um, hard to squeeze, so applicate a bottle all the way, I reckon. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's pretty much like dimensional magic. It's such a shame that we can't get dimensional magic. Okay. They did this once before for about six months and then they resupplied it again. Well, we've also had some other glues die over the years, like the blue and green ones. True, true, true. Although they were ancient. Yeah, they went under because the company went under, I think. Right. So what do we reckon? You think we like? And just to come up and I think what we need is a 
bit of a pastely pink color. If I can find my pastely pink pen. Oh. Maybe the pastel green will look nice. So just come in. Draw them in a few spots. Just being careful where like there's a lot of thick wet paint. We can't really do any of the pastel pen there. Is it real real on the tip? Okay, I think our Uh, crystal accents are nearly ready so what we're going to come and do is we're just going to grab the heat tool real quick and we're going to heat them for like five seconds One, two, Right now, what we're going to do is we're just going to grab our piece of foil. Heat it up. Too bad, hey, not too bad. Okay, and then uh, I'm just using the same one. It's the red, it's the first notebook out of the first booklet out of the Rainbow Art Journal. We're going to be using this art journal for the whole year, more than likely, as we've got a, quite a few pages in it. So, now could you put the link up to the art journal? The Rainbow Art by Marlene one. So, we are just heating up the foil because it makes it more susceptible to stick. He mentioned it, yes. Yeah. All good, to IMB. Really wasn't planned that for big cow here, yeah, but you know what? Sure, why not? Aren't that caps a bad, not a bad luck? No. Nah. Well, Don't come on it. Except for. I don't know. And European. I'm not European. Bad luck, but in Asian. Folklore, it's seen as good luck. Well, we ain't European, are we? We're Australian. We can make our own traditions. I might say it's a form of an argument. Say it's a form of telling who's more connected. There you go. Pretty good. We're doing the cheats method of foil. Oh, the heat tool? Yeah. It's not that bad. Something wrong with it. See? Exactly. Simple, easy. Not allowed to say the next word on Facebook Lives. Right. Yeah. Now, there was another step we were going to do. Can't remember what it was going to be, though. Neither can I. Got to tell you, it looks pretty finished. It does. What do we think? Do you reckon we need anything else? This is the time to say Lady yay or nay. Said, Very pretty. Diane B said it's lovely. Oh, thank you. 
Cheryl <laughs> says, whoa. Oh, thank you. Whoa. Actually, where is our silver? Jacqueline sent um, an emoji, emoji sort of thing. Okay, 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 okay. Actually, where is our silver pen? I'm going to go check um, Miss Anne's desk. No, it shouldn't be there. It was on my desk before we started, before I started setting out the twins. But it's in my paint pellet, my paint pellet of doom. That's okay. It's all good, because you know what we'll do instead? We'll use something else. You want this paint pellet? Uh, no. Nope, not that under the black pen. Actually, you've gone outside your comfort zone, man. Really? Hit me. Why? Blue and green. I can't see pink, yellow, or orange. There's pink in there. We did a pink script layer. Hey. There. The smallest touch. If there was red on it, I'd be more proud. Luckily, your opinion doesn't count. No, it doesn't. Well, my brother. Which means you have to love what I do. Same with you. Yeah. Does that mean I'm not going to comment on what you do? Does that mean I can't comment on what you do? No, it just means that I'm probably not going to listen to you. True. Alright. There we go. So we're just coming in with some silver. And you'll understand why we're doing this in a second. It will, it will make sense in a second. And what did we agree this was going to be? Shades of blue or an abstract river? What if we shade the blue of the abstract river? Oh, goodness me. But, you know, I think my curse of writing has gotten worse over the years, which is sad. Well, less legible, so we've got our name of our title just there. Nice and neatly, so it looks quite nice, I think. So that's tonight's class, where we did, we used the new Devoted to Denim um, rice papers, which was the butterflies, the script, and the lace one with the pearls. They're all on the online store. Uh, and that's a bit of a preview of what's to come next week. Just a little, oh, I wasn't supposed to say that. No one to speak about this out loud. Maybe Noah could pick the colour thing for one of your lives. Ha! There you go. Karen L suggested it. So. Isn't that a lot? You could pick the colour thing for next week's line. Okay. Depending on if I follow it. It's not okay. I'll do it right now. No, no, we'll not do it now. You can do it next week when you're in a less vindictive mood. Why? Because you know it's going to be red, burgundy. And what black and purple in purple so i give you a color you like there'll be a flick of red at the end right so thank you all for coming uh don't forget that tomorrow night mom has her friday night live at 6 30 p.m queensland time where we are using mermaid wishes uh tomorrow possibly there's something out tomorrow as well oh and if you haven't seen we have the new tim holtz color ink are uh, on pre-order on our online store so make sure you get onto that now because we were only able to order limited sets and i believe we've already sold over half of them so um and they are at pre-order rate currently because we're able to get the first batch cheaper than the second batch so just a heads up moment there so thank you all for coming and we shall see you all back here tomorrow